Hello everybody and welcome back to Farming Simulator 22. So as you can see, all the snow is gone, the grass is fully ready to go, it's all looking good. We're into March, we are 22 minutes past 2. Finally, finally we are here ready. And I've already been to the store. I couldn't wait. I did do a little job as well, a little contract. It was just a fertilizing contract on a little field at number 23, just up here. Yeah, this little field up here. I did that one off camera because it's it wasn't going to take long. If anything, the longest part of it was taking the journey there on the highway, getting up there to it. But it was just for just over a thousand pound. I thought, well, why not? You know, you've seen the fertilizer spreader we've got. It's huge. And it pretty much did the field in one go. Easy thousand pound. So then after that, I decided to drop the fertilizer back off here at the yard. And I headed over to the store. Purely just to have a look at what kind of mowers we could buy for this. Because I don't want to go with anything too drastic. But I wanted to get a, a mower. Because we can go right up east. Well, I'm, I'm assuming we can. This is this is technically part of our land. So I'm assuming. You see, look. It's right on the edge. So we've got to be careful of, like... If the game's going to be funny and it's going to actually let me do that or not. So I don't know how far we're going to be able to get up here. I'll have to just give it a go and see. But I wanted to try and find some mowers that were going to be good for like doing this but it's not too expensive because we're just going to lease them because i'm hoping to buy a bigger grass field and have that as a permanent grass field and i've got me my eyes set on 71 this bad boy is going to cost us six hundred and eighty thousand pound which is a, it's a little bit steep but i'm almost sure that has yeah you see that's already got grass in it so it's been done so I've not got to spend the money seeding it. And it's just going to keep going. As you can see, it is actually ready to harvest at the minute. Is there a contract on this? I don't think we can actually do anything with it. You see, there is no contracts on them at the minute. Which is it's really weird. I don't understand why there's no contract on cutting that. But all there is is the supply and transport. So if you're looking at these figures here thinking, my God, 189,000. Yeah. Basically, if you've never seen these before, what you have to do, it is the supply and transport kind of mod. And you have to supply 143,000 litres of soya bean to Johnson's Farmer Market before the time expires. And as time expires, well, as you can see, it's going down pretty quick. Two and a half minutes. If you can supply 143,000 litres, they'll give you 100, nearly £190,000. So it's quite handy if you've got excess. So if you've done a load of fields, you've got excess, and you think, mm, I need to sell it. It's the way of doing it. You can transport it to them, and they'll pay you good money for it. Same with sugar beets, same with sugar and lettuce. You know, if you've got 45,000 litres of lettuce, they're willing to pay 120,000 for that. you just got to transport it there. So they are quite good, quite handy as well. And I'm sure we will use some of them when we can. But at the minute, I have got my, my heart set on 71. It is a big field and we're going to get a lot off it. And we can, we can also buy, like we can bale it, which is what I'm tempted to do on these fields here because the small, we're not going to get too many bales. But on a field that size, we are going to get overwhelmed with bales of silage. Silage is obviously the highest price. So what I was thinking of is we can go in here and there is, you can buy windrowers. So it will be, I think it's in, comes under this one here. Yeah, you see there's, um, there's this thing here, which you're probably thinking it's, it's like a normal forage wagon, but it's got arms on it and it's, it's kind of a wonderful goal at the minute. Um, Oh no, we don't want to, we don't want to buy. Oh, we don't want to buy it. It's a good job we got no money into. So you can go for some really kind of funky colours on this kind of thing. Uh, let's just go for pink for now. Oh my word, that's a that's a migraine waiting to happen. <laughs> it's kind of, whew, you're not going to miss that one going down the road. But basically, it's got the arms, so it's the forage wagon, but it extends the arms out 21 meters, which means you can cover it a lot. They're very handy and it holds a stupid amount as well. So they're very handy if you want to do grass. So if we're going to do grass on that big field, that might be handy to hoover it up. We have got fermenting silos. So a bit like you see that silo there, but you drop all the grass in, give it some time and it will ferment it into silage. So there's another way there we can do it. And then we can put the silage from there into the main silo right in front of us. So there's, there's many ways we can do this. And these are plans for down the line. And I'm just rambling on now as we need to have a look at what I've got. So we've got our Fent tractor. And this is the new Kaboto DLC. 
look at these these mowers came part of it you can get the dlc which is all the actual equipment the tractors and everything this is the add-on pack which you will find on mod hub you don't have to actually buy this one so i'm saying it's part of the dlc the Gavoso is the dlc that's come out but this is actually the equipment pack which you can find on mod hub but all the tractors are the dlc i've not gone for them in the minute because i'm i, I really do like the fence and i always seem to go for the fence and they're a lot lower powered tractors which i just don't think we really need at the minute not when we've got a big beastie 1050 fend so another reason why i went for these modes as well is because they have like a swaft mode on them so a lot of mowers normally just drop it widespread it you have to buy a windrower you have to then collect it into a line and then you can get your baler on it well these don't these have the swath mode like it's like a little conveyor belt you might see at the back and i thought yeah okay this is this is going to be handy so we just have a quick pull up the menu here and have a quick look you can see selected worth mode swath dropping that's what we want so if we just go and move to the front we can unfold no not drop it craig boy unfold it mowers i struggled with mowers because there's a lot of things you got to do you've got to keep swapping between the front and back to start them pick them up lower them and everything so if we drop that one there we can get the front one going now switch it to the back we can turn the back ones on and we can drop them and let's get rid of this menu and it's on swath mode and we're just going to go all around the edge as much as we can nice and steady Oh, look at that. So we're going to go nice and slow. I was going a little bit quick then. We have got the speed unlocked mod. Because I was doing that for the fertilizer. Just to try and whiz around to get it done. So we're going to try. I'm going to try my best to go around and do as much as this without picking it up. Only because it's an absolute nightmare. To try and remember to pick them all up. You have to do one at a time how much of this can we get before it's going to moan at me and go oh, yeah out oh no it's let me do it oh that's pretty cool we are literally on the boundary of our field and i thought it was going to moan at me and say mm, you're pushing it now craig well this is technically not yours but it's letting me do it a bit off the edge there that one's on the gravel okay so we're gonna have to stop there i'm gonna have to pick them up now so if we go for that one, that's picking the back up, swap it across to the front and pick the front up. There we go. It's just remembering to flick it between the front and the back and then turn them on, turn them off, drop them and hire them. And yeah, it just sometimes gets a little bit confusing. I'm a bloke, struggle with multitasking. So we need to now go back here and we need to drop the front down again. It's still on, I've not turned them off. Go forward a little bit there. Switch across to the back ones and drop them down. And we're good to go again. Might be slightly off. Oh, very, very, very slightly. This is pretty cool. Wheat's not looking too bad as well in the field next door, but we've still got a few months to go for them yet before that's uh, ready to go. I think it was July that's ready to go. So we've got this field and the field just across there to do so i'm going to carry on get these done and i'll see you when this is done i had a feeling you'd come back and save me from all those lonely nights and heartbreaks and i feel misplaced without you why don't So 
really what the plan is then is we've done cut the grass on these two fields but they're not going to have grass back in them so we will come through and i will plow them whatever do that on camera mind you off camera but i will go through and plow them and look at putting an arable crop in because there is a lot we can do if we go and have a look on here you see we're back into oats corn can go on sunflowers soybeans in the next month you know we, we are back to a lot of things that can go in so we might put some oats in these two uh because then we can harvest them literally the same time or actually we can harvest them yeah around the same time as the wheat so it could be nice to do them all we can then you know either store the oats in the um silo we could take the wheat up to the uh, grain mill it can all go to the grain mill i think you can take oats to the grain mill oats oat wheat and barley i think i think it's all them don't don't hold me to that i think you can take out there as well so for now these can go back because we don't really need them we've done all that we can there's a few little bits that sort of tidy up but I'm, I'm not really that fussy it's just we wanted something because like when when we got to these fields we couldn't do anything with them we had to wait for the sunflower and the corn to sort of ripen is that the right word to ripen uh, but they weren't ready to harvest in time for us to be able to put wheat in these as well so the only thing we could put in was grass so it was it was just in the obvious choice so let's see if we can go in there uh, send these back then send the front one back and send the back ones so we don't really need them again we'll be okay like i said we're going to put something else in these we need now to find our baler and this is the first time actually using the baler to do silage normally a lot of times i will just go pick it up with one of them trailers that i showed you earlier and then put it in like a, a fermenting silo and turn it into silage that way but i've actually gone and got a baler and i've just realized we have got two straw bales there which we could probably do with getting rid of because what well, i don't know what we're going to do with them if, if i'm truthfully honest i have no, I have no idea what we're going to do with them where did they even come from oh that was it it was this little field over here wasn't it i think it had oats in did it have oats in or wheat it had something in to start with and that's where we got them from just literally two little bales off there now, i keep thinking about that field and what to do with that because really it is a bit of a kind of a pathetic field isn't it really it's it's very small you don't get much off it and i've been trying to think of what's best to do and i am tempted to just sort of like concrete it get rid of the field itself concrete it and we can either put in more greenhouses we could maybe put in that fermenting silo maybe another vehicle shed i think that would be better to sort of expand the yard to that field and then through the the bridge over the bridge there we've obviously got the field next to it and then there's two more fields further on as you can see that i've got nothing in the minute which we could look at buying i want to expand to some bigger fields rather than these little ones so this one here we could when they're sort of been harvested we could put that into one big field or we could get rid of them as well or even like concrete them and make a bigger yard and i don't know we're going to see as time goes on but first let's see if we can do something with this then uh, if i'm honest i'm not 100 sure how we actually do we just simply it's got automatic drop on does it just recognize its grass and then it will bail it and wrap it will it you know what i have no idea this is it's very rare that i do anything bales and silage wise so i'm trying to work out as well it says partial width at the bottom no idea what that means i'm guessing is that the width of the pickup can you change the width of the pickup automatic drop is on so we're going to turn the baler on we're going to lower the pickup and i'm guessing we're just gonna we're just gonna go and it will pick it up and drop it itself will it but is it gonna wrap him or do you have to tell it to wrap him i mean we're gonna find out anyway so it had a bit of straw left over from the first little field i was telling you about now is that gonna wrap oh it is as well oh look at the color of that bright 
bright. I forgot we went for a bright orange wrap. That's beautiful. So is that just going to now drop it itself? Or not? Do we have to do it? Ah, I turned the automatic drop off. My bad. It was on. I turned it off. Okay, this is pretty cool then. So it just shoots them out and just wraps them itself. So I'm assuming that you wouldn't just have... Well, what was if you wanted just a grass bale? Would you have to go for a baler without the wrapping for sort of function on it? Because that's just automatically wrapping it. If I wanted just a grass, a normal grass bale. I haven't activated that and it seems like there's not a way I can stop it. Which is not a problem because we kind of want to wrap them for this anyway. But if you just wanted a grass, because I'm cheap to eat the grass bales. So what would you do there then? Would you have to get a different type of baler that didn't have the wrap function on? I'm, I'm assuming so. If you play this game a lot more than me and you do a lot more baling, then please do let me know. Drop it in the comments and, uh, and tell me. Is that right? Do you just have to get a baler without the wrapping on? I mean, it would make sense, but... Does that mean... But then if I've got this baler... I can't see it all. We're going to off. If I've got this baler, does this mean then I could only ever do... What? Hay bales? Straw bales? And silage? I can't stop it from wrapping the, the grass. If that's right or not, then please do let me know in the comments because I'd love to know. I'm not well up on me bales. On me balers. Like I said, normally I come along with that big trailer with the big arms, hoover all this up, and either put it in the silages, uh, in the silage, in the silo as grass, or then I put it into one of them fermenters. So it's got its own sort of slowdown function. That's pretty cool. So it slows itself down. Depending on how full it is. This is pretty cool. Now, I, I, I want to have a go at one of them um, baler... What they called? You know, the bale picker-uppers. There, bale loaders. Can we get one of these for round bales? Again, what size are the bales? Does, does that matter? Like, this isn't telling me what it is. It's just telling me we've got seven bales. I'm guessing that's including the two straw ones because we haven't dropped seven bales. Have we? I don't even know what size it is. So does that mean that we can actually... Can we get one of these bale loaders? See, that one picks up round bales and that picks up 24. Can we lease that? That'd be quite cool. It, it would be easy, but let's just... How much is it to lease? Two and a half grand to lease it. Ooh... We'll have a think about that one. Is that just a waste of money when I have got the tally handler? But in the tally handler, we can only pick up two. I don't think me auto load trailer supports bales. I mean, I'll give it a go off camera and see if it supports bales, but I don't think it, it is going to support bales. So we could just pick the tally handler, just use them and go around and pick up two at a time. We'll have a think. So I'm going to get this done and I'll see you when all the bales are created and we've got them all in <laughs> orange little dots all over the fields. It's getting closer to midnight. I tried to get closer to you. Drinking courage from my red cup now. I will soon make a move. Bales are wrapped and we've just got a litter of, 
orange little blobs all over the fields and if we swing around this way you can see just over there there's a load on there as well so we got quite a good amount uh, and also you might have just spotted as well if uh, eagle eye viewers the little storage shed for strawberries is gone i did switch it over to sal because now we've got the update the greenhouse itself will store them and won't just spawn the pallets out like it was doing so that was an update which we found out in the last episode so i bought the shed before that because i needed somewhere to store them and the shed holded a million so i don't need it really now we're, we're okay we've got enough so i've got rid of everything in here i've just literally put it to sell in and as the time's gone on it's just sold them all that's why the bank account's gone up a little bit also because we can just sell directly as well i've set the greenhouse to go and do tomatoes and lettuce the strawberry is really the only thing that we kind of need so we're going to have a quick look in here it's strawberries uh, and lettuce i don't really need we don't really need lettuce uh, because there's nothing we can do with it there's no production that takes lettuce and the same with tomatoes so we don't really need to sort of hold on to them anywhere we can do at a later date but as you can see we can only do eight thousand of storing tomatoes 12 of lettuce but twenty four thousand of strawberries so we're holding on to the strawberries but i'm getting the greenhouse just to sell the lettuce and tomatoes and because we only have to put water in and water's free we can go get that down the little pond down a little lake we just go dip the trailer in get the water out of there well, i mean why not so the tomatoes and lettuce are selling it means it's just gonna you know a little bit of income which is gonna keep going up for the bank account and then we'll hold on to the strawberries until it gets full because we do want to get the bakery at some point might have been a little bit early on sort of doing the strawberries i mean i can just swap into selling so it's not an issue they will build up again pretty quick but the minute we'll store them and see how we get on because the next big purchase is going to be the grain mill so we need to try and make every bit of penny that we can and you're probably thinking well, hang on where, where am i going i have just gone and leased that bale trailer i want to give it a go all i'm a little bit concerned about is by the way if you have noticed it jumps every so often that's just before it comes up at the top and says auto save there was a new mod that i found on mod hub which does auto saving so every time you go into the menu here it doesn't come up auto save and sort of like stop you doing anything for a few seconds now i assumed that the mod would be seamless but as you can tell when you're driving on the road the game stutters when it tries to do the auto save so you, i always know when it's about to auto save because the game will stutter so just in case you're wondering i might take that off because it wasn't too annoying when you go in here for a few seconds it was saving at least it stopped the game stuttering anyway so this is the trailer that i've got but or should i'm hoping is going to pick up the bales the only thing i'm a bit concerned on is it says about what size bales it will take but the baler didn't give me a size option it just didn't and like i said i don't know enough about the balers and bales i don't do too much of it when i've been playing the game so i'm not really sure if this is going to work or not we might have just wasted two and a half grand on doing this and it might not do anything so we need to go through and we need to see if we can actually unload it uh, unload it operate the position would help i was trying to unfold it but it's actually operating position now i'm assuming we just drive up to them and hopefully oh you little beauty look at that i must admit i was a bit concerned thinking oh if this doesn't work i am literally going to have to get the telehandle and try and stab every single one and try and stack them and that wasn't going to be pretty but this is going to be so nice and neat and we can get 24 so what we're going to do is we're just going to at the minute i can't afford one of these if i could afford one of these i would have got it but it was 50 grand and that would have left us like four grand so it's leasing at the minute because we've got to try and get 80 grand to be able to buy the grain mill this is awesome maybe turning a bit too tight there why have i never done this before i've always like i said i've always just taken the sort of i don't know if you call it the laser option but 
going for the forage wagon with the big arms on it and just hoover everything up and then dump it into a fermenting silo. I've always just done that. But this is quite cool, especially with the bright orange wrap that that baler does. So I'm kind of wondering whether... It is literally one button, I like that. One button to sort of activate and deactivate it. So I'm really tempted in these two fields to put sunflowers in. So at least we get some use out of them. I was going to put oats in. But I think if we get sunflowers, we've got a chance of harvesting at the end of the year. When we harvest then in July for the wheat, it should... Harvest them in October should mean that we can put them straight in the grain mill. In the grain mill. In the oil mill... It should, we might need to take a bit of a loan out to get the grain mill, but we will then be able to pay that back off if we harvest these and put these in the oil mill later in the year. That might be the best option. It's all just trying to work out what's the best way. And also, I keep forgetting, we have got these things right in front of us. The whole point of doing these as well is to ferment them. And then we can sell these. Again, I'd have to try and work out because I've not really, uh, I've not really sold these. So, what what would you have to look for here? Silage. I'm guessing, animal dealer, the biogas plant. So, do we just go and sell them at the biogas plant, or the animal dealer? Do they take bales? Do you have to own the biogas plant? I'm assuming not. If it says buying. Because I know some of the times you have to own the biogas plant before you can actually sell anything there. I might need to kind of brush up on me, uh, on me bales. But it looks like we're going to have a, a decent amount here. I don't know what... We've not known what size these are. I don't know if these... Are these a, a thousand litre per bale or not I'm not really sure again if you have any ideas then please do let me know in the comments below I'd, uh, I'd love to learn up a bit more on, on me bales something I've never really kind of messed with when I've been playing this like off screen on my own so that's 19 so this is 20 then so we've got 20 bales and two fields that's that's impressive. Now, am I best? I think I'm best. I was going to just stash him around the, the side somewhere, around by the vehicle shed. But when can we get rid of these? Like, when's the best time? So Jan's the best time. Where? What? What are we on now? March. You see, March is dropping. But do we really want to hold on to these for another year to get the best price? Plus, also, how long does it take for these to ferment? It still says grass. Oh, bale info. 2% ferment. Oh, so we can't get rid of them anyway. We've got to wait for these to ferment. Oh, yeah, I'm learning as we're recording this. So apologies if there's a lot of you shouting at the screen because I'm, I'm very, not well up on my bales. Problem is though, if I go and store these to the side and take them off this, I've got no way. I'm not going to be able to pick them back up with this. Because it, it picks them up one at a time. Hmm, I'm going to have to have a, let me have a little think about what I'm going to do with this. So after going through trying to think about what was best to do with the bales, because they've got a ferment and I'm still not sure if I need to own the biogas plant to actually sell them there. I'm not sure what it's going to do. Um, I could try one, but I know with the biogas plant from uh, an FS19 that you had to wait till midnight before it sold. So I'm going to try and brush up on that. And I don't want to get rid of them first. Obviously, there's still grass bales at the minute. So I've decided to keep them here on the farm. And this unloaded a little bit differently than I thought. I thought it was going to stack them up, but it doesn't. It sort of pushes them along the floor. So I've decided to put them here. Because I got rid of the, the strawberry like storage shed this is the perfect place to do him and if we have a quick look you see it should tell us 
Four percent. I think we go near some of these at the back here. There might be a little bit more fermented. Yeah, six percent on here. So it's going to take a little bit of time. But I think it might be best to hold on to them because at some point we were talking about getting animals. And I really do think maybe this could be a good idea here. It's, it's, by the way, it's, it's just going a bit dark. It is 20 past 7. It took me a little while to try and figure out what to do. And I should have really stopped time when doing that. Uh, but I um, I carried on going. So I, I'm trying to, like I said, trying to work out what to do with this field over here. Where if I should concrete it. We could maybe put some cows, pigs. I think cows would be good to get. Because you can get milk off them and everything. So that could be quite good. So we might get some cows. But do we put them there? There's a lot of things we can do. So please feel free to leave a comment below. If you want to have a suggestion about. What do I do with this field here? Should I turn it into. Maybe a placeable like a factory. Should I put a factory there that's not on this map? Should we look at getting like a fermenting silo. So we can just. Don't have to bother with bales. We can just hoover the, the grass up. And put it in a fermenting silo and then it will get silage and then we can just do like mixtures straight from the silo or do we just keep with the bales a bit more you know sort of genuine what you know what you would normally do you'd normally bale them you wouldn't get a big hoover that hooves it all up and then a fermenting silo i mean i don't know can you can you get them in real life or is that just done for the game i think what we can actually do now is we, we've done all for the bales for now Let's see, we might as well send this back, can we really? We don't really need this anymore. But it, it's definitely worth buying, because that was really good to have. So for now, that's about it. It's um, not really much more else we can do. The main thing we wanted to do was sort out these fields. It's going a bit dark. We're going to go into the next month. And if we go into the next month, what have we got going on in the next month? Not a lot, but we can still do Sunflower. So I think that could be a mission then for the next episode is to go and sort these two fields out where we just had grass in and put Sunflowers in. So we can then put some Sunflowers in our oil mill and we can actually then get that making us some money as well. These will ferment as well and we'll save these. We'll either choose to sell them if I can find out what to do with them. And if the biogas plant will actually just let me uh, sell them there or not. And then we're going to get closer and closer to getting wheat as well. Money's slowly going up when the lettuce and tomatoes sell. We might sell some more strawberries because at the end of the day, we've got to be able to fund, I think, was it 80,000? Something tells me it was around about 80,000. I've lost where it is, right up here. The grain mill. Can't see where, there we go. Here we go, let's see what it is. Oh, it's even worse, actually. 96,000 we need. So we might have to borrow some pennies off the bank for that one. And as time goes on, we will have a lot more jobs to do. So don't worry. Thank you for watching. I do appreciate it. And if you could give me a like and like I said, leave some comments and let me know what you think of this so far. Are you enjoying it so far? Is it going a bit too slow for you? Do I need to try and add more into each episode? Your feedback is always welcome. So thank you so much then. Hit subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.